Jim Dine inspired hearts with Miss Bowie. Let's talk about pop art. Pop art is an art style that started around the 1950s and it's inspired by images from popular culture. So things like celebrities, advertising, news, and even comic books. You may have seen these examples of pop art before. Here's Roy Lichtenstein's Oh All Right, inspired by comic books, and Andy Warhol's 1962 Campbell Soup Cans, which is inspired by advertising. Who is Jim Dine? Well, he's an American pop artist. He makes paintings, drawings, sculptures, prints, and more. A lot of his artwork is inspired by everyday objects like tools or bathrobes and he uses repetition quite often so he repeats the same shape or object over and over. So here are some examples of some of his art that features hearts. So we see he does the four hearts in many different materials, many different techniques and many different styles. For Jim, it's not really the subject that's the important part of the artwork, it's the materials and how the materials create a different feeling and make each piece super unique even though it's the same subject, a heart over and over. So why are we doing this project? We want to explore different ma materials and techniques and build up an understanding of how each material works. We're also going to be working on pay creating art with unity, so paying attention to each area of the artwork. These are the materials that I will be using. You will need some colorful materials, some colored paper, scissors, glue, a pencil, and your visual journal. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking uh, my markers and I'm just going to do a whole bunch of polka dots. You might choose to do different types of lines or different types of shapes or different types of patterns, but I just want to make a background with a lot of color and a lot of interest. So use a variety of your materials and we want to fill up the whole page with color and pattern. So remember how Jim Dine had sort of those confetti type backgrounds? That's what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this. I know that crayon is going to resist when I use it with paints, with watercolor paints. So I'm going to put some bright neon yellow crayon in my background. And I'm also going to experiment with a rubbing technique. So I've grabbed this piece of cardboard, which is really bumpy. I'm going to use a crayon laying down on its side. I'm going to put that, that textured object underneath my page and I'm going to rub the object with my crayon. And then this is super cool. It's going to leave a really nice texture in my background. All right, so I've jumped ahead a little bit. I've done some little thumbprints with some paints. I've done some more scribbling with some uh, markers. And now I'm going to fill my background with some watercolor paints. Now I need to let this background dry. It's dry now. Um, so I'm going to grab my colored paper and I want to choose a color. I'm only going to use one color, but you can use more than one color if you want. I'm going to choose a color that I think is complementary to my background. That's going to that's going to look nice but also to contrast. So I've chosen this green. So I'm grabbing my scissors and then I'm going to fold my colored paper in half. So I want to cut it into four rectangles. And I'm gonna fold it in half the opposite way. So I've done two folds. And then I'm gonna open up my page and I'm going to carefully cut along the fold while it's still folded in half in the opposite direction. So now I've cut the paper in half. Now I'm going to open it again and cut carefully along that fold. So I will end up with four rectangles. So there's one, there's two. 
I will open this and then I will cut it and then I'll have four. All right, so I'm gonna take one of those rectangles, just one, and I'm gonna fold it in half uh, as well. So I'm gonna do my best to line up the edges and make sure that it's creased nicely. So I'll use my thumb. So this edge where the fold is, I'm going to draw a heart shape. So not on the edge where it's open there, on the folded edge, okay? So I'm gonna just draw half of a heart. So starting there from the edge, going around. And actually, I don't want my heart to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm actually gonna change that a little bit. So not down all the way to the bottom there, I'll just make it go in a little bit, okay? There we go. So I got my scissors, I'm gonna cut. And now I have a heart cut out and I also have the outline of a heart cut out. I'm gonna use both of these in my artwork. All right, now we're going to repeat the same exact process with just one of those other rectangles, just one. So I'm actually gonna trace around the heart that I cut out so that they're both exactly the same. So I'll use that first heart as a tracer and then I'm gonna cut out the same way that I did with the other one. Now I have four hearts. Two of them are positive space hearts and two of them are negative space hearts, so the outline of a heart. I'm now gonna take my background that I made and I'm gonna take my hearts, I'm gonna arrange them on my background and glue them down like the way this looks with the two hearts diagonal from each other and then the two negative space hearts diagonal from each other. So now I'm gonna glue. So they're all glued down now. So now I'm gonna use some pencil crayon and different materials to add some interest here. So I'm just gonna repeat some of those sort of scribbly energetic lines that I did in the background on my hearts. Next, I'm gonna grab some white materials. So I've got a white pastel, also got a crayon and a pencil crayon. And I'm gonna use these to create a highlight on each heart. So I'm gonna do it always on the left side, on the top, um, and then a little bit on the right side on the bottom to sort of create the illusion that these are a little bit popping out of the page. Okay, and I've used my finger to smudge out those white highlights a little bit. Now I'm gonna do um, some shadows. So I'm gonna take a black crayon or whatever material that you have and I'm gonna just do a little bit of shading on the bottom right side of the heart, kind of going out around the outline. So I'm smudging that with my finger a little bit as well kind of added a tiny bit up on the top left, just above the white highlight that I did. And just a little bit in the middle there. And then I'm also going to make it look like it's making a shadow on this green paper here. So I'm going to um, add some black crayon there. And I'm gonna press hard when I'm close to the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna start pressing light as I move over so that it's sort of creating a um, little bit like the shadow is um, fading out, sort of. So dark and then light. And then finally, doing a tiny little line of dark just right beside the white highlight there so that it looks like the highlight is popping out a little bit more. So you can kind of play around with those and see how you like them best. But I'm gonna repeat that process with the rest of the hearts. And then just for fun, I'm also going to add some splatters of yellow paint that I had used in my background. This stage is optional, but I thought it would be really cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.